Hello guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is DG Chef from the Stables. We are doing yet very interesting dish today. Chicken kofta stuffed with dried plums or aloo bukhara as we call it here in a beautiful tomato based gravy which finds its inspiration from north india and kashmir you love it it's very different we flavor chicken mince stuff it with the dried plums and cook it in a rich tomato gravy which has a heavy accent of fennel or sauf as we call it a very interesting uh, story behind this dish my elder brother timmy praji from vancouver called me one day and said he used to have this dish as a child and uh, he's not seen the recipe and has not had it i asked him to explain what this was and i attempted to recreate this very happy with the outcome let's see how it goes the ingredients are all ready we take very finely minced chicken and to that we add chopped ginger garlic chopped onions cilantro or dhania coriander to that we add finely sliced green chilies mix it really well and then add seasoning a little bit of salt but because this goes into a gravy um, the salt needs to be managed well this is a very interesting tale of Indian cuisine as it's evolved over the years. It of course has chicken mince and the trick is to make sure that the mince is fine. If you're buying ready-made mince, try and do this like a double mince. Put it into the mince twice. It really needs to be fine like a pate. The other interesting twist about this is that we are going to stuff plums, dried plums. We call it alu bukhara. And this originates from obviously the Middle East has a Persian, Turkish and uh, Afghanistan flavor to the cuisine. We're going to cook this in a tomato gravy which is also inspired by Kashmir our northern state with a lot of enhancement of fennel powder in it. Keeping the mince flavorful and fine is going to be key. With that done, let's move on to the gravy. We'll take five large tomatoes, blanch and de-skin, chop the tomatoes. The chicken mince is now well settled and it's good to wet our hands while making this kofta or the chicken mince. And now we're gonna stuff the dried plums or aloo bukhara in this. It's quite interesting. The alu bukhara has a little sour taste to it and also has the seeds. So when you're having this, if you're not careful, you could damage the teeth. But it's also an interesting journey as you go through the chicken mince, then the sour alu bukhara, and then remove the seeds and suck on the seeds. It's just outstanding. And, and this is how it will look. And this will go into the gravy like this and because of the egg it'll hold and the chicken cooks much faster we could do this with lamb mince as well originally it was lamb mince but i've moved this to chicken for quick cooking the gravy for the chicken kofta is made with mustard oil which is very pungent but it's also very typical of Kashmiri cuisine. So we're gonna use mustard and with some dried red chilies, bay leaves and whole spices. And then the tomato that I chopped, we've made a puree of it. And we're gonna put that in here and cook it for a while. Adding salt now will help the tomato cook faster. The other very interesting twist to this dish is fennel or sauf powder. Kashmiri cuisine has a lot of mustard oil and sauf and cardamom. And uh, we will strain and soak some fennel seeds now uh, powdered in water 
and later when the gravy is cooked, strain it back into this for a very, very different flavor. I have the koftas in the gravy. I'm gonna cover and cook this for another 10 minutes at the most because the chicken is very quick to cook and it's also a very delicate process. That's why you saw I was delicately lifting those those koftas and those chicken mince balls so that they didn't break and I deliberately put the hot sauce continuously over it so that it solidifies and gets cooked very quickly and holds itself together. As you can now see the color of the gravy is changed. The chicken that we put is now fairly solid and it, I can assure you it's soft and flavorful because of all the ingredients we put in the chicken mince. This is ready now to serve. It is best with steamed rice. As we plate this, you could actually serve it intact or cut it open to show the fruit inside. Enjoy this one guys, it's a delightful gastronomic journey. I loved making this. Timmy Praji, hope we came up to the expectation. Cheers guys, bye bye.